fists into the air and raise a rebel yell. There's lots of bad ones out there you need to send to hell. Hey, all zombie slayers out there, it's Parker here from the ZK channel, and welcome back to episode 2 of the zombie who survived Christmas, and here I'm just gonna kill the skeleton really fast with my, uh, swift moves here. Oh, my sword just got done. Oh, shucks. I I'm telling you, skeletons are just- oh, oh my god, I am dying. Okay, I need to just bring out my axe and just shut him down. He brought me down! like six hearts jeez skeletons are way too op but uh what is up guys it's parker here and welcome back once again to episode two of the zombie who survived christmas and if you guys haven't watched episode one yet i would highly recommend you guys to do so uh because we're already pretty early in the in the series and you could probably easily catch up it's not like we're um i would say 10 episodes in we're only two episodes in so it's gonna actually be uh pretty good if you want to catch up but basically what I have to do and ooh pigs I might as well go and get them because I, I have no food ooh and I do have some arrows in me ouch out zombie does not like that uh but if uh, once again what we're going to be doing for the series is basically we have to make a Christmas house before Christmas we have to make a Christmas themed house and I'm gonna have to gather some supplies I'm gonna have to gather a lot of stuff uh, to do that so like I uh, make sure Santa gets um, gets his milk and cookies I have to make that uh, keen in my mind I have to make sure I have a Christmas tree I have to I have to get all this crazy stuff on uh, like Christmas is eight days away guys so I have to I have to I have to and I, I know that uh, I will I, I Oh jeez, okay. I'm going way too um way too fast for my thought process right here. Uh but I know um you guys are kind of liking uh, that this episode thing is once every day because that's sort of what I want to do for the series and that's why I'm bringing it uh, to you guys every single day um, up until Christmas so there is going to be approximately I'm pretty sure 10 episodes so uh, right until Christmas day ends whether or not I have my house completed I do not really know but like, like fingers crossed fingers are really crossed but um Something that I wanted to do was clear off all this dirt right here and sort of have a foundation for my house. That, that would be something uh, that I would sort of like because I cut down those trees right there. I might uh, get some more because I like the trees right over there. Um, I like the tree set over there. So I might as well go get some of the trees that are right here and just sort of flatten out that land because I don't want to make it too high in which it's kind of... Uh, Dis, like disrupting uh, the rest of the forest area. I don't want to do that and I don't want to really make it uneven because I, I kind of like that natural flow that it has to it. It looks really good. Um, so I don't want to do anything to change that at all. But should I either change... Should I either knock out this whole section right here or knock out this section? Because I, I would definitely get a lot of of dirt that wouldn't really be uh that bad of me to find or that wouldn't be that hard so, uh, sorry about that uh to find but i think i might as well just knock out this uh top layer not anything else maybe this back layer too uh so i might as well just get some get some stone do all that stuff because i know i'm gonna have to get some I'm, I'm gonna have to do a lot of stuff christmas is in eight days i have to i have to start doing this <laughs> i have to get my act together and I have to do this I must complete the house and where am I gonna go to find that wonderful stone um <laughs> probably the smartest thing to do would have been just to dig all the way down but if I can't find like a little tavern or just a um, not a tavern a cavern if I can't find anything like that just in which uh, coal is or not coal stone is really available for me right now geez I'm messing up on so many things right now but hopefully we can potentially you know what? I'm just gonna dig down I guess Number one rule in Minecraft, don't dig down, but you know what, I'm all good, uh, at least for up here anyways. Um, but what else do I need? Because I, I, I need to decorate my, I need to decorate my tree, and I might use, uh, instead of just like lights, I might as well just use torches uh, to light it up. And something that I would like to do as well is get some, get some redstone, put some, uh, put some nice yellow and red mixture in, uh, in my Christmas tree. That, that would actually be pretty cool. I, whether or not I'm actually going to be able to get redstone, I don't really know, but it would be a pretty cool addition to have for it. 
and ooh, that looks that looks really cool. I'm not gonna lie, that whole overlay. Um, and also, we're gonna have to do with the fan appreciation, uh, or more or less Santa's. Um, nice list uh, as we have right here if you guys if you guys haven't watched episode one I would highly suggest you guys to watch it or you will not know what that is um, But let's go make ourselves Yeah, I'll, I'll go with probably two um, Well here, let, let's just be safe. Let's just make a bunch I guess because we are gonna be kind of digging out a lot of stuff But I don't really know this is just to be safe just to be safe um, let's go, f oh yeah, yeah, did I, yeah, I cooked that. I was about to say, if I didn't cook that, that would have been bad, that would have been bad. Um, ooh, and I have some snowballs, snowballs, ooh, I gotta, you know what, hopefully this episode can go sort of in the night, because I wanna, you know, I, I wanna hit some zombies with some snowballs, I wanna, uh, crush those skeletons, because they're way too OP, and I just wanna show them who's boss. <laughs> show them who is, because... I, like the size of my house, it kind of does have to be like a little bit big, and I might, uh, it's, uh, like I'm thinking maybe two stories, maybe three stories. I don't really know. Uh, basement, that's gonna be preferable. I don't really know uh, for that either. But I do have to make sure I get all the Christmas essentials down first, like Christmas tree, all that stuff, and um, it's it's gonna be kind of difficult. So. I'm just gonna knock out potentially this spot over there will be will be okay. Uh, probably gonna have to cut down this tree. I might as well do it right now. Um, <laughs> like like the thing is, I kind of like these these trees as well. Like I, I was thinking, oh man, w will I be able to make a Christmas tree out of uh, out of these trees? But you know what? I, I think they actually look kind of Christmas Christmassy. I I think it might actually work. But ooh, I'm kind of lagging right now. But yeah, it might actually work. I don't really know. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully it will, because I have to make sure it fits, and if it doesn't fit, I'm going to have to trim it down to size, and hopefully it still looks pretty nice, because, like, I, I want something like that, something that, uh, that tree formation, not anything, like, where it grows all the way up like that, because that won't really look like a really good Christmas tree at all, because I need something more or less like that, that would be good, that's low to the ground, uh, something that's easy to keep up, that, that would be something that would be really preferable, um... And I'm gonna have to go back a little bit more too. But I, I'm telling you that, like, in real life right now, it is it's freezing outside, guys. Like right now, I'm actually pretty chilled. I I have two sweatshirts on, and uh, the heat, like I I swear to God, I, I actually have not turned on the heat all the way up until December, which that that was actually. Like, in the in the later Novembers, it was actually starting to get a little bit colder, and I, I was just like, oh my, like, should, should I still not turn on my heat? Uh, but I was actually able to not turn it on at all, so that was sort of a little awesome thing, I guess, that I, that I was able to do, just not turn on the heat at all, all the way um, up until December, which I, I thought that was a pretty awesome goal for myself, and I gave myself a little pat on the back, but... Those last days in November, though, that those, they were pretty chilly, I'm not going to lie. It, it was kind of hard uh, to not put my heat on because it was that, that cold. I kind of like this whole overlay that we have right here, too. I sure, yeah, I'm going to cut down this tree, and I think I might be good to maybe set my foundation. That, that might... Mm, like, because it does all come down to uh, construction maintenance, what I'm going to actually be making my whole house of, because I... <gasps> Oh, yeah, it's snowing. Yes. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, wow. Yes. This is a winter wonderland, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Ooh, snow. You know what? Let, let's see if I can catch some snowflakes. Let's, uh, oh, wait, no, that tree's going to be blocking it. Oh, I have to, I have to go fondle around on the ground. And you know what? I'm going to go catch some good old fashioned snowflakes. I'm, oh, this is beautiful. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. Oh yeah. Yes. That, that that's really cool. It just randomly started snowing. It's, it's snowing a lot. I, I was because what one thing I was concerned about this too is that you know what I, I was actually wondering about this too whether or not I would actually get snow because I thought snow just wouldn't like randomly generate like this. I don't know if I'm just. I I haven't really played Minecraft in a while and I haven't just uh, got that extra. 
information to know that snow can actually generate in something like this, but this is really cool. This is something that I never knew uh, could actually happen. It's like a winter wonderland we have here. This is my the exact thing uh, that I wanted to actually have too. And if, it, if it's snowing like this on the day we actually make the episode on Christmas Day, uh, that would actually be pretty awesome. That would be really, really cool. Because hopefully uh, we can get everything done before that, such as making that house and making it as awesome as can be. But... I think I already have my foundation. I think I'm all good with that. Uh, something that I might plan on doing, and I, I might as well sort of set out my whole overlay uh, for right now, too. So I might do it from right here, here. And, and this is just sort of my boundaries that I'm thinking of having for it. So I'll make it... The, um, yeah, that, that should be plenty big, hopefully. I'll, I'll just trim it down on this side, maybe just a little bit more. Um, have it stretch out all the way like that. Um, yeah, that'll, that'll be good. That'll be good. Stretch it all the way over like that. Do I have it? Yep, I have, I have a lot of dirt. <laughs> I thought I was going to run out of dirt for some reason, but no, I'm all good. And, oh, I, I think this is actually going to be perfect. This, this might... It's not too big. It's not too. It's not too tiny. This is actually going to be pretty acceptable. Maybe have like a second story. Uh, maybe some wood flooring. But I, I might actually wrap up this episode right here. You know what? Since it is snowing outside, guys, and I want to actually, I, I I want I want to do this now. Ever since I just started up getting those getting those snowballs. But you know what? To end the episode, let's try to find. Uh, some mobs that we can go and throw some snowballs at just because it's snowing just because it's snow <gasps> creeper Oh, yeah, this is gonna be revenge for one man 50 zombies. You are going down creeper I, I wonder if I'm actually doing damage too. probably not but that would be awesome if I actually do kill him I have a zombie over there. Let's get just get some more snowballs up in this joint boom 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 hit some Oh gosh, I, I don't want to die at all, but um I, I yeah, I don't think that does any damage at all. But zombie, you are going down. You're going down. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, so just before I exit out of the episode, we have to make sure we can add somebody to our Santa's nice list. So we'll go over here, and uh, I'll be right back just to bring up the whole uh, fan page as well. And, ooh, some zombies are after me, but I'll pause it. And for the new person we're going to be adding on to Santa's nice list, uh, we're actually going to have the quote... Um, let's do jingle all the way, and what this is going to be dedicated to is Craft Ryan, Ryan MC. There we go, Craft Ryan MC. Uh, that's Jingle All The Way. And once again, uh, if you guys don't know, everybody that's going to be on Santa's nice list, uh, by Christmas Day, they are going to get a pretty awesome uh, gift from the ZK once again. Uh, so, you know what? Hey, if, if you are active on our channel, you will... I uh, hope... Zombie, you will get... Uh, a, a potential spot on Santa's nice list, so make sure uh, you do happen to stay active because that's uh, the people who do. Because I actually see uh, Craft Ryan MC uh, sometimes on our channel too. I, I actually remember him um, talking to him actually in uh, some inbox messages as well. Uh, but that's about it for episode two of uh, uh, The Zombie Who Survived Christmas. And you know what? I guess I'll talk to you guys tomorrow and hopefully we can. Build a uh, Christmas themed house by then. But other than that, guys, my name is Parker. Hope you guys are having a wonderful and fabulous Christmas season. But other than that, guys, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Mm -hmm.